the first question, of course, what is MDS? MDS is a blood disease. Uh, it's often referred to as bone marrow failure, one of the bone marrow failure states. And the problem in MDS is that the bone marrow, which is where the blood cells are made, is not functioning properly. And so instead of producing a normal amount of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets, the bone marrow produces far less of these. And oftentimes they don't function completely normal. So patients with MDS can have anemia, which is not enough red blood cells. They can have thrombocytopenia, which is not enough platelets. And they can have leukopenia, which is not enough white blood cells. Patients with myelodysplastic syndrome have low blood counts, and when you look in the bone marrow, which is the factory of blood cell production, most of the time the factory is working overtime, and so more of the bone is occupied by cells trying to make blood than is normal. We refer to that as a hypercellular bone marrow. In addition to having low blood counts, some patients with MDS are at risk for developing leukemia and generally acute myeloid leukemia, or AML. The risk can depend on the percentage of blasts in the bone marrow, blasts being the most immature cells in the bone marrow, and also the genetics of the disease.